Day 31 of trying to explain every single node in Blender. And today we have the particle info node. The particle info node is one of the info nodes, which means that it only has outputs. This one has a whole lot. It has eight. This node provides data from the particle system that you have on an object. The first output is the index, which is the index of the particle. If you have 1000 particles, this will count up from zero to 999 and it will give each individual particle a different value. This way you can select them even with a ping pong to select every other one and then use that as a mask for something. Random is pretty similar to the point info node where you have a per point value of between zero and one. And this is mostly used to give color using a color ramp. Then you have H, which is the H of a particle in frames. This value will go up from zero. You can use this to give color to particles that have existed for longer. And it's really cool to visualize how particles move. Lifetime is a static value of the lifetime of the particles expressed in frames, just like the H. Then you have the location, which is just vector data for where all of the particles are in the 3d scene then you have the size which is pretty self-explanatory it's just a value of the size of each particle so if you have a random size each particle will have a different size output the velocity is really cool this allows you to give color based on how fast a particle is moving and the same with angular velocity this just gives you a factor output of the angular velocity of a particle and that's pretty much it it's kind of like the big brother of the point info node and it's much more useful for particle systems if you learn something please leave a like and subscribe if you didn't please leave a comment and i'll try to help you